Over a year has passed since I moved to the English countryside. I lived in London for 10 years prior, thinking to myself that I would never swap a vibrant, busy city life for a quiet village. I always said to myself, I love nature for a day or two, but I won't be able to live in it. I remember it vividly. The buzz and the noises in the city kept me on my toes. Each architectural element, history, character, vibrancy inspired me. Until one day I found myself escaping the concrete jungle at every possible moment. I was overwhelmed, burnt out, dissatisfied longing for more but not in a global, opportunity-packed sense that a big city like London offers. I loved London, but I realized that it was time to say goodbye. I wanted to breathe deeper, to look further, I wanted to stop running from myself first and foremost. To explore the part of me which I kept suppressing for the longest time. I noticed that I wasn't alone. It seemed that suddenly many others were moving out of cities. It's as if we collectively want a change, a different way of living. Granted, it's not a change which is possible to achieve in a day, and it does require a lot of planning. But I realized that I wasn't weird and I wasn't alone in this. Actually, it's funny how this feeling of loneliness works. When I lived in the city, I was surrounded by thousands of people every single day, but felt trouble connecting with a single one. I made more friends and acquaintances living miles apart from each other in the countryside than I did in densely populated city. Perhaps I was so disconnected from myself that connecting to others wasn't even a possibility. I think I always secretly wanted to do this, live in nature. I've always known that there is this tiny, hopelessly romantic part of my soul which was being silenced, but I was told to grow thick skin, pick up pace, walk on heads to achieve what I want. Anything else would label me lazy, a failure, an unaccomplished human being. And so I did pick up pace and I enjoyed it until I didn't. I found a new home, nested in the river valley. It almost felt like life got divided into chapters, and one chapter had to be closed to begin the new one.
In fact, that's not the first chapter I closed and never came back to. I did that before, moved away for the first time, for good, cut ties with my past self to bear yet another new part of my soul. I also discovered that cutting ties with your past self isn't that easy, as you will keep following yourself wherever you go. You can't escape from you. The only way is to begin the process of healing. Stepping away allowed me to see myself from a different angle, discover the pent-up feelings and emotions which I didn't understand or kept hidden before, and take tiny steps to deal with them little by little. Part of me wanted to move to the countryside to heal, to look beyond the familiar walls and established beliefs, to see past what I've dreamt since childhood as, frankly, I've changed, but dreams of my past self kept pushing me back. Perhaps you don't need to change big city for the countryside or move from one country to another to change your life. By sharing my experience, I'm not trying to say that this is the only way. What happened here to me wasn't so much a change of location, but a change of mind. While material will always be a vital part of our life, it's not what will ever define it. Happiness, success, they're not a place on earth or a material thing. It's all in our minds. At first I thought of myself as failure. I questioned my every step. Am I lazy, bored, unmotivated? How can I justify this peaceful, slow life to my 16-year-old self full of ambitious, world-conquering sort of dreams? Until I realized that I lived a bigger, better, fuller, more successful life in this past year than I ever did before. No, it did not become easier and I didn't become happier all of a sudden, but the hardships didn't seem as scary.
Slow and quiet doesn't equate to dull and lazy, quite on the contrary, it's evolving. Growing and changing just as seasons do in their own time in harmony. dark, dull days and cold winter inevitably end in warmth and sunshine, and then the cycle continues. Just like the flower that pushes its way out through the thick soil in the beginning of spring requires a period of dormancy in the cold winter earth. You sprout and grow, then wilt and sleep for a while until a new season begins. No matter the season, I will always choose to see beauty. Perhaps this is the most important thing that life and nature had taught me.